hello guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time i upload a video okay enjoy what is up guys welcome to uh andy rcv it's your boy andy matrix where i talk about anime uh manga video games key coaching japanese culture and um <laughs> Of course, let's talk about Dragon Ball. Let, let's talk about Dragon Ball. So, I mean, usually I have like some 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 news on the channel about geek culture, anime, you know, video game news or whatever. Let's talk about one of the most popular franchises in the anime industry. Oh, oh in the world, for God's sakes. So everybody, so I, I don't know if you guys have been reading the Dragon Ball Super manga, but recently. Spoiler alert, Vegeta lost once again. Chapter 75 of the Dragon Ball Super manga. Everybody's pissed off. Everybody thought that Vegeta was going to win. And this is the page where like he, he, he loses. And you can see he's all beat up. And everybody's, everybody's pissed off because Vegeta never wins. Vegeta acts like this, like this, you know, this egoistic bastard that, that can you know, kick anybody's ass, but he never wins. He he didn't beat Frieza. He didn't beat Cell. He didn't beat Majin Buu. Vegeta never defeated anybody. Even even when he became Super Saiyan for the first time, he got his ass beat by the androids. You know? <laughs> but the reason why I bring this up is because it, it seems to me like Dragon Ball is on the decline. Dragon Ball is under the planet. A lot of people are getting sick and tired. And yes, even the diehard YouTubers. And uh, I'm actually going to play a clip here from um, Master Media. Master Media, he has to be like one of the biggest Dragon Ball Dragon Ball fans. So here's a quick, uh, quick clip. I'm not going to play the whole video, just like a minute of it. Fans are starving so much for like something fresh, new, exciting, something different. Like... Just we want so bad for Dragon Ball to not follow the same exact formula every arc. I honestly don't know why we even try. Like, like this is so dumb. Granola awakens his true power. He's already at his max potential. What, what true power? I don't know what to say, guys. I, I'm getting really sick and tired of this manga. Like, honestly, Dragon Ball is getting to the point where... I question whether or not I want to keep covering this series like every day because I know a large percentage of you guys are subscribed like for the Dragon Ball news and reviews and things like that. But and the movie's coming out, but it's a slice of life CGI movie. I don't have high hopes for it so far. And the manga is just not interesting. I mean, Vegeta getting this form and having the potential to break the chain and actually get a W on a big bad was very palpable. But of course, this doesn't happen. Of course, it doesn't. Happen. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see the frustration where it's like, damn, you know, it's like people are putting so much time into Dragon Ball. You know, we got and, and, and the thing is, it's like the ideas. It, it just seems like, you know, the, the creators, Toriyama and I forget the I forget who who's the new ass assistant, but. You know, like, <laughs> like when when Dragon Ball when Dragon Ball Super first came out, it was because it started with the movie Battle of the Gods, and then it was Goku Super Saiyan guy with with red hair, and then after that was Super Saiyan Blue with blue hair, and then came the Tournament of Power, which after the Tournament of Power there was no other episodes whatsoever. The anime has not continued. The anime has not continued whatsoever. Now, um, it looks like the creators are just focused on making movies, Dragon Ball movies. And recently, there's going to be one called Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which is a silly title. And it's going to like, yeah, like Master Media said, it's going to be, it's going to be a basically a CGI uh, slice of life Dragon Ball movie, right? And everybody loves Vegeta, but Toriyama does not like Vegeta and Vegeta never wins and it's like it's under the it's like it's declining and it's like if this continues i mean you know eventually something is going to take over uh dragon ball it was naruto naruto was like the number one contender competing against dragon ball z 
I mean, yeah, One Piece is always popular, but One Piece is like, it's not very comparable to Dragon Ball Z, you know. But, and uh, going back to the anime, the last episode, the last episode of the anime was on March 25, 2018. This was literally the, the final episode of, basically at the end when the, when the Tournament of Power ended. After that, there was no other, absolutely no, uh, no new episodes, right? And that's because they just want to make movies to cash in, basically. So it's just treat Su Dragon Ball Super as a cash cow. You know what? That's fine. But what's going to happen is it's just going to continue losing fans. And, um, you know, and in a few more years, if this continues, then Dragon Ball is just going to become, it's going to be vintage, you know? It's just going to be vintage. And Dragon Ball Super is not going to be so well remembered. However, the original stuff like the with little Goku, Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, the most popular saga was the saga in Planet Namek when Goku became Super Saiyan with Frieza. The Cell Saga was really good. Majin Buu was kind of like, eh, he wasn't that great. He wasn't that cool. But yeah, man, it just seems as though the writers are, are they don't know where to take the story and they're just kind of like coming up with random stuff. So. Take it a few more years, uh, we're just gonna see people, you know, having a Dragon Ball fatigue. What is up everybody, thank you for watching the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at andyrtv.com, follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix, thank you for watching, Godspeed everybody, Godspeed.